I found that I didn't know anything about my Seattle until I went to the blog. I had known for some time I really couldn't stay in TV news forever, and I never ever would have dreamed that I would wind up creating my own new job. It's kind of a step more to the media revolution, as people call it. Started West Seattle Blog as really a blog. Um, then the end of 2006 happened. We had this big windstorm. We went out and started covering the effects of it because there was no West Seattle information about it anywhere. And from there, we just sort of kept sliding into news. And I still, some days, pinch myself and say, did I really do this? I'm the only breadwinner. And I was really, to some degree, putting the family at risk. But I felt like if I didn't take a, you know, a chance now, when was I going to? Adam Smith said people have opinions and they have nowhere to go and they're very, they want to say something. And real-time event creates real-time opinion. The undercurrent to this is the fact that you can't take anything for granted because it's month to month. God forbid it could all fall apart tomorrow. That's something else that kind of keeps me literally awake night working on the site. People have done this before. I'm not entirely sure how far they've gone with this. It's annoying sometimes and it's not so annoying sometimes. Our son Torin um, winds up working on the site just in terms of coming along with us sometimes. I don't know. I, I shouldn't know anything. I'm just a dang kid. He's rather begrudging about this uh, right now. I don't know if time will ever come when he thinks it's cool. Do you enjoy going to these places? Sometimes not really. It's just kind of a tedious task that happens. Because we've gone out there and said we're a news source, we're run by professional journalists, etc. Um, they do expect us to be a reporter, to be accurate, and to tell both sides of everything. We have this large fan base of readers, basically. If the second that any of them find out anything is happening, they'll immediately tell us. Uh, a lot of the times if I'm sitting in front of the computer, I'll listen to the scanner. Yeah, it's kind of different. I want to be taken seriously. That's really important. We see the blog as a huge community service. It represents a broad spectrum of people. Uh, they have a tremendous hit count every day. We're like two-thirds of the way toward money makes the world go round. What my take-home pay was in my old job. Yes, yes, lots of money. Um, so I'm really hopeful that in another, you know, within the next six months, that the revenue will be at a point where I could money hire someone that would be available maybe on an all-call basis to fill in for a few days. The cash flow is what I'm interested in. The reason that we're doing relatively well is that there really is a void. The big media is running around saying, oh my God, we've got to fill that void too. And I don't think that they necessarily have to do that. And maybe they can talk about partnerships, they can talk about some sort of synergy. Oh, it's the point of life. <laughs> it's the employee break room. <laughs> no, there are no breaks. There they are again, the West Seattle Blog family unit. <laughs>